Father Thomas Garrett is the author of many publications dealing with business ethics and is professor of philosophy at the University of Scranton. Is it immoral for the media that carry cigarette advertising, newspapers, magazines, television, which is licensed in the public interest, is it immoral for them to carry these ads? If the advertising were nothing but a simple picture of the package and the name of the product, I don't think we'd see any real moral problem. But when they start, let us say, to urge the young to use cigarettes, ah, we've got a problem. And notice, Mr. Reasoner, that in the last four or five years, there's been a shift in cigarette advertising with the appeals directed to the young. Let's put it this way. The man who drives the getaway car in a bank robbery is as guilty as the man who goes inside and holds the gun on the teller. And when you're cooperating as a media owner or writer, you're involved in it too. It's been suggested that the, uh, the real cigarette test for this country is the, to find out whether something which is so good for us economically and apparently so bad for our health, whether this kind of an issue can be resolved in a democracy. Do you believe it can? Well, I believe it can be resolved, but I wonder if it will be resolved. And I'll tell you why. I I'm a little uh, cynical, as I said before. I'm afraid that there will be a big brouhaha, uh, smoke and fire, and the thing will die quietly off. And in between, I think the eyes of the public will have goof of dust scattered in them. May I give you an example of that? Last night, there was a commercial call for X cigarette. And it went something like this. We bring you an important message. X, uh, no other cigarette, according to any survey, is better medically than X cigarette. This is not a claim. This is a fact, practically applied. It was a public service. Now, if you analyze that, you'll see that that's pure, unadulterated, 100% goofy dust. It gives you the vague impression, maybe there's something good about this, and it tries to say poo-poo to all these reports. And I'm afraid we're going to have a rash of this type of counter-propaganda. Father Garrett, do you know advertising men who really believe that uh, smoking is not harmful to health, that the case hasn't been proven? Well, I don't know any of them, and uh, after all, they don't allow illiterates on Madison Avenue. Do you think that they see a moral situation? Uh, I would say most of them do, but I'm a little cynical in that some of the most uh, moral, shall we say, are those without cigarette accounts. <laughs> and I think we have to face this. <laughs>